All right. Well, here we are. Midweek magic. Phantom golden sealed. These are actually pretty fun. You don't get any of the cards out of this, but all of the cards in your sealed pool should be rare or mythic. So, we get our six golden packs here. <clears throat> Let's crack them open and see what we get. Hopefully we get a Valgavoth. That would be really cool. I mean, if we don't, we'll put some together, but... Double Meat Hook Massacre, that's something. Oh, and it's it's just a cross standard right now. We got it. A roller crusher ride can be fun. Well, I'm just gonna hit continue and let it organize it this way instead of the other way. This is so much better. Oh, that is not. When you control three or more creatures with different powers, you may play the exiled card without paying its mana cost. Damn. Three or more creatures with different powers. That is a really strong coven. Artifacts and creatures entering don't cause abilities to trigger, huh? That's that's gonna be kind of mean, I think. Each player can't play more than one thing a turn. Could also be very mean. The overlord. War leader. Why got a couple of decent things? I don't know that another round is going to matter. Even Interrupter is pretty cool. Only the activate abilities. Each activated ability of exiled cards to use it to craft with four or more non land cards of activated abilities. I never really did play around with this card. It did seem very, very fun though. Otterball, hey, the Oculus. Mind Skinner. Like the coat, the coat's good. The double ETB triggers, excellent. Gain some removal finally. Slasher's fun. The ley line, ooh, we even got a recursion spell. All the creatures get minus two, minus two until the turn. Discard it for something. To get. It's just an early discard, huh? Try to reanimate it. Interesting. Another Overlord. Double Meat Hooks. Double Cursed Recordings, even. Interesting. Wow, we got four red cards. <laughs> Ridiculous. Land, those will be good for fixings. Alright, well, green is looking really good.
this is pretty good. Well, we've got enough auras to make her yet good, but she can be. Gishath. I don't really have a whole lot of dinosaur cards though. You're just a 7 6 trample that costs a lot. These don't look bad. Oh, I got two of you? Cheating. Those don't look great either though. Oh, you have a land in my graveyard. I don't think that's going to be necessary. I'm going to cry. cry. Look at the top five for the land. Bottom of my library. Triggers once each turn. We've got repeatable crime triggers. That's easy to do. This glimmer is good. You're on the chopping block. Enters our attacks. Mill three. Return a land from the graveyard. 
the Nautical Tabs, activate abilities, lands you control. Lands get more. Whenever it attacks, you know, two. Whenever one or more lands are put into a graveyard from your library, put them on the Nautical Tabs. So these guys together just take all the milled lands and mana ramps me like crazy. Which means I'm never really gonna have lands for Delirium. Hey, can you back that Swarm Weaver? I need to click on that. Double Meat Hook. Although fun, we'll have to see. Very good. Quillen Rebirth is great. This might board wipe myself. So we might cut that. Choose artifact or enchantment, destroy all permanents of the chosen type. Okay. Overlord, Thunderous, top 20, reveal two creatures, if it was bargained on the permanent battlefield. We should have stuff to bargain, right? We sacrifice an artifact, enchantment, or a token. Yeah, we're covered. Any number of creatures from your hand on the battlefield. Yeah, okay. Just gonna cut the blue cards. You do get mana of any color with the Overlord of the Haunt Woods and Enduring Vitality, though. Pressure ride could be awesome. That's kind of got a free splash since we've got lands. token that's a copy of another target creature or an artifact we control. That, that could be really good with some of these things. Damn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play this as this is. This is close to a sealed something. 
we'll, we'll get something going. There's a lot of good splashable cards, and we've got the stuff in green to make it happen. But if somebody's just got like a two color deck, you know, we're gonna have trouble keeping up. We have to do that on three. Cool. Limited goes, turn one play, they got a turn two play, and I haven't done anything yet. They're off to a really good start. Half-landed next turn, so we can't quite do the five, but I can cast the, the Swarm Weaver just to get something going. Oh, you guys have the same ability. Fun! Get that damage in while you can. Um, we can cast that next turn, so I want to hold on. Beginning of your end step, discard a card, lose two life, and sacrifice a creature. When Greed Gambit leaves the battlefield, you discard three cards, lose six life, and sacrifice three creatures. Man, so if I could, like, break that somehow. When it leaves the battlefield, uh, it's not a spell. Nice. We were doing all right. You were, you were still in that game, opponent. I don't know what that quote was about. I guess it is a free event. Nothing's on the line. Fail factory. Well, hopefully you don't fail as much as the last person did. Wow, uh, this is not great. <laughs>
But we do have a turn three play and a, a possible turn four, depending if we get a land or not. I think I'm gonna just take my shot with it. Probably not gonna mull again any hands in this event, so. Nice, we did get the double white for the rabbit. Good card. Hover ship. All right. Well, okay. well, maybe we'll wait on that. problem with that play whatsoever. What else are we doing? Oh no, I can I can kind of do that. And then pending him, we can't just cast him out, right? That's fine. I guess that's what we get. Far so good.
sorry about that. Got a phone call. Just another put more things on the board than the opponent can put on the board, and we have... Oh, cool. Well, one of the cards that we opened in our Phantom Pool, so it's like we actually got it. <laughs> I mean, it's just a classic sealed thing, and make sure you've got the mana to play the cards that you have. Um, and I'm really banking on getting another forest, aren't I? Alright, no mulligans. Good chance we will not be able to get anything in the board in time to stop that. Well, it looks like everybody else is playing greedy too. Pretty good. we got something to the board. <laughs> oh, that stupid card. Great. We might be out of this. <laughs> I didn't put the card in here that gave everything minus two, minus two for fear of killing my own board, but uh, 
Damn, what is, does it look good here? Oh no. Everything has haste, just click the button. There you go. Uh, that, was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> One dancers is hard enough to beat. Two, yeah, I'm dead for sure. But we didn't give up, you know. Well, that's no good. <sighs> if you take too long in this free event to just pick your opening hand, I will quit and find somebody else. There you go. You guys aren't supposed to come out to play until I have Delirium. <laughs> Why do you keep wanting to be here early? Yes, that's one. Slasher. Kona, rescue beastie, that is kind of dangerous. That is kind of dangerous. Oh, it's a legendary? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I gotta do something. get one more green and play Enduring Vitality, we can do Thunderous Debut, and it should just be game. <laughs> yes! You think I won't? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can keep one. Do you think I won't? You're not getting no free trigger and nah. That's fine. Well, that's not good. That is no bueno.
it's so bad, but we're gonna do it. Man, all I need is double green and I unlock my deck. Give me a forest. Yeah, yeah, rub it in. I got one too. sucks because you have to sacrifice something to get the tools on something. Unfortunate. How unfortunate. Yeah, where was this last game, huh? card from the graveyard. Man, how come you guys get all your cheap stuff and can cast it? <laughs> Be like my other opponents who couldn't play anything. You know, I said stop playing things. a card for no reason. Got it. I was hoping to get the token out of it. And that creature isn't legendary. Well, read your cards, Will. Read your cards.
the worm doesn't have delirium. Again, I like this is I need double green and this fixes both of these cards fix the whole deck. You win. You win, you're just doing things and I'm not. That was unnecessary, but I did it. tokens. Yes, the Balloon Man token generation. Uh, I know this game. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool.
that's pretty cool too. Take that one. All right, now we gotta do the big view. We're gonna bargain this. Galta. And the Railway Brawler. And then we're gonna put these from our hands onto the battlefield. So we get the slasher. So yeah, do it up, my guy. Do it up. A 12 12 that makes two six five flyings every time it attacks. Oh no, these are getting pumped more from the the swarm weaver as well because they're insects. Insects get one plus one and have a death touch. So they enter as three twos and then get plus three one one counters from the brawler. That's crazy. All right, well, midweek magic, phantom sealed. card. Oh, I didn't mean to hit play. We done. We, we did our three wins. We are out of here. We don't want none of that. All right. Duskmorn Limited. Back at it. Twenty four, twenty four trample. I mean, yeah. But the fact that Galta put everything else into play was really cool too. <laughs> hey. The Wandering Rescuer. Alright. It's pretty decent. 
three four flash convoke double strike and all my other creatures are hexproof seems decent um <laughs> did we do it just pick two yeah the other top creatures that's fine Five color rooms. Gym, search for a basic as a room. Draw, lose life. Yeah, I think we're going to take the mana fixing room here. Instant or sorcery. I'm really gonna have to be grabbing removal to make this work. Removal and fixing. I think I'm gonna grab the fixing first. There's another gem to fix with. Dual lands. I'm going to take the gem here. This is the dual land, although murder is a good contention. Ooh, keys to the house, actually. We want keys to the house. Get the land. Um, no, we're not doing that. We'll probably grab one more keys. land for mana fixing. Oh, the land for fixing. And the land for fixing. All right, now, now we're, we're good on the fixings between the keys to the house and the dual lands and the gyms, I think. Hopefully we can start seeing like smoky lounges and glassworks. Just rooms with a, a repeatable effect, you know. This could be the best time to pull uh, Marvin whatever guy that copies abilities to have to uh, lock or unlock of a door in a turn. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the shark. Chainsaw. I mean, it's removal. 
Under the skin is pretty good as well. Oddly enough, I'm, I'm leaning more towards under the skin here. I mean, can I get some rooms? Y'all got any of them rooms? It's a room, but it's not a great one. <laughs> I almost want the pyroclasm more here than I want the room. to getting any rooms. Yeah, uh, getting her pick two or yeah, pick two, pack one. Like, I gotta try. I gotta try. And that's the only way it was gonna happen. Ah, we would get an unholy annex. Don't do this to me. I don't, I want to do the five color control thing now. No, don't give me hope. But either way, I think if I get a couple of chandeliers and enough removal, like, we're just going to do the loop thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm gonna do another bear trap. I might just take the rare land and get it in gems. I mean, this should be okay. <laughs> Just re unlocking the ritual chamber a bunch. Yeah, the weight room is okay. I don't know that I want to be spending six for a five five a bunch though. This one for one removal thing is going to be a little difficult to do with all the little glimmer that get made. I was hoping to get one more chandelier. Alright. <laughs> pile, pile. It's a pile. Alright, <laughs> let's let's go get our, our three losses done with. I would just be happy if we can get a win with this deck. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. There, there's potential that I'm just going to catch people off guard the five color pile and not being the room deck but there's more likelihood i'm gonna run into boros aggro and azorius aggro and i'm gonna die before i can get anything to the board i mean it's not a good sign that arena is having so much trouble pairing me up for my first match <laughs> like there's there's no other decks like this we can't put you in a mirror match well, what do we got to do <laughs> Ah, yes, all of my end game. <laughs> Thanks, best of one smoother. This is exactly what I want in like six turns. Not right now.
and say while I'm waiting. At least turn off the lights. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Uh, it's the Azorius aggro deck. I'm so glad. play anything. I knew that's how that was going to go against that deck. I'm hoping to hit somebody who's just a little slower off, you know? Not somebody who's hitting the dream curve with Nico. Give me this card. Huh? It's like the two best cards in my deck right now, just gone. Son of a bitch. Maybe you'll put something back in my hand for me, that'd be cool. Getting there. Hello. I don't know about my favorite game, but it is a pretty fun game. I do enjoy it a lot. It is what I play the most. I believe I've been playing this game since it came out. 
back in like 2018. I, I no, <laughs> no, 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 nowhere near pro. I do have uh, the history of the game behind me. I've been playing it for 20 years or so in real life before it was the computer game, so. Um, there's, there's moments where it can be hard to play. It, it can be a little steep of a learning curve sometimes, but. time. If you're thinking of playing it, I do suggest playing Arena. It has a really good tutorial to kind of get you into the game. Um, it can be a little bit hard getting your first deck, but once you have a deck that you like playing, it, it, it becomes pretty easy to maintain cards and continue to play. <laughs> we all started as a noob. You know, you'll, you'll learn some things the hard way watching somebody else do it to you on the other side of the board, but... This isn't good. Six, seven, nine, ten. Yeah, I can go to one. I didn't think I was gonna be getting this one anyway. Yeah, I haven't been streaming long enough. I haven't decided on a gaming logo, so I haven't put one up yet. I know it's something I should probably do. Add the banner, the logo, get that stuff going, but I have not gone and uh, looked for it yet. So it's not, not a top priority. I do like that Arena is having a, a real hard time finding me a proper opponent for this deck. They're just like, what did you do? <laughs> These cards don't go together. Why are you doing this? This is fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's it's fine. <laughs> um, I mean, there's not really anything that I'm looking for as far as the art and the banner and stuff right now. You know, when I feel like I know what I want to do with it, 
I know there's a lot of people who are out there willing to do stuff. That's most of my followers right now are the, the Discord artists coming in here wanting to show off their artwork and get it on my channel. Like, I, I don't know what I want it to look like yet. And when I do, I have a feeling I'll be able to, to hunt down and find people. Is, is there a reason why you only have your work on Discord to show me? If, if you're really wanting, you, you should have like a website or a portfolio or something somewhere where you're showing off artwork and not just only on Discord. I do find it odd that everybody comes in advertising art but only wants my Discord information. Stop tapping everything down. <laughs> I would like to block. Excellent. You, you can send me stuff on Twitter. It's perfect. Alright, well, that is pretty much how I expected this deck to go, but I, I thought we would at least get paired up somewhere, not just 0-3 bottom all the way out, but that was, that was alright. I deserved that. All right, let's let's do a real draft. And draft an actual deck and not try to play a meme deck and not get it. Toby is a card. He is worth playing. There's the Smoky Lounge Misty Saloon that I wanted for the Rooms deck. This is also a really good card. Honestly, I'd kind of rather play the Rooms deck than I would whatever I'm going to be doing with Toby. Ashley, you got it. I mean, even if I would have picked the room stack, what do I what do I move into here? 
Shard Mage is okay if we want to continue down the white route and try and protect Toby. The Paranormal is one of the better cards here if we can start manifesting Dread. Okay, there it is, Manifest Dread. Oh, Glassworks. Really like Glassworks. Have not been seeing that card as often lately. It does not go around like it used to. Yeah, maybe we maybe we take the glassworks here. We'll keep some of this open. Honestly, my favorite card out of the pack here is the emerge from the cocoon. <laughs> I think I think that's might be uh, where we go as we hit the cocoon here. Unable to scream, another glassworks, or a cursed windbreaker. All of those are decent. All of those are decent. I'm gonna take the glassworks though. Slayer Norn. Oh man, if we could Toby bounce with Norn, that could be pretty good. Slayer is just a house, though. Alright, well. The analyst is probably going away, and it looks like I'm playing Borjos. That, that's, that's what it looks like is happening. Let's hope Pack 2 agrees. There's no way that other one wheels, right? There's no way this the second Smoky Lounge wheels. That was our pack one pick one, was it a Smoky Lounge? And I took Toby instead. So it's this one, one more, and then Smoky Lounge again. Yeah, there's no way it wields, damn it. Yeah, none of these are good. I think I should have taken the Smoky Lounge over the Toby. Why, why do you want me to play this so bad lately? <laughs> Fear of Burning Alive looks really good here. So does Scorching Dragon Fire. Dragon Fire looks slightly better because it's cheaper. Valgavoth. So 
I just take my last Valgavoth here? We already have one reanimation spell. We could do some sort of Mardu reanimation thing. Mardu likes to discard. Otherwise, I'm probably supposed to take Trapped in the screen here. Absolutely. But I, I, I should take Valgavoth. I'm, I'm going to take Valgavoth. I shouldn't take Valgavoth, but I'm going to take Valgavoth. Hey, there's this Faithful. Confirm. <laughs> Uh, Snatcher is pretty good. Percussionist is pretty good. I can just take the percussionist here. Somebody is going to have fun with the mind skinners for sure. We're taking the emerge. Oh, we're taking the Mirth. That's for me. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to pivot right out of white into red, black, sacrifice, and reanimate Valgavoth. <laughs> Oh, Valgavoth. You were so good. Who's holding up the table? Come on. Who's got all the packs? Ooh, another Mirth? Like that. Like the Slayer. Although we would probably want the Black White Land, don't we? Ah. Uh... Yeah, I want the land here. As much as I want the Slayer, I want the Black Land. The Black White Land. We need the Splash. Uh, grab the prize for discarding. Um, I think we want the Addict here. I don't really want more than one Norn. Um, already got one Ripper. I think I want the doll here. What are you trying to give me the peeper for? That is so far from what I'm playing, Arena. That doesn't even make sense. Glassworks is good. Fear of being hunted is good. Midnight Mayhem is good, but we're not really playing that deck. Although having little things to sacrifice 
can be good. I definitely don't need Rip or Winter. I might just take Midnight Mayhem here. There's another land for fixing. Here's Live or Die. Here's the Shroud Stomper. Uh, Final Vengeance is removal. Okay, I'm going to take the black reanimation spell. And we're going to hope that Shroud Stomper wheels. Because that'll show that nobody is in our our deck lane. If Shroud Stomper doesn't come back, hopefully we get the Verge. Oh, we can grab the Loner and just put Valgavoth in the graveyard. Hey, there's another Smoky Lounge. Not doing that anymore though. Take a booth with the reanimate or the uh, manifest. And then it's something to sacrifice later. Now we're going to take the loner. We know how well it does just putting Valgavoth of the yard. Alright, stick twister or another verge. Or I can take another reanimation spell I think I'm gonna stick twister I want Valgavoth to be part of the deck but not necessarily the reason why the deck exists I feel like I should take turn inside out over this cocoon here that can't be right for what I'm doing though I mean, we want none of this. Uh, Glimmer of Light might make it, actually. It makes something to sacrifice for the Murph. Hey. I had four of the room payoffs. Oh, there's my goat. At least one goat. <laughs> uh, we can do repossession potentially. Although we only got, what, two sacrifice? Yeah, I'm going to take the removal. Glassworks came back. Crazy. The... Hey, the Shroud Stomper. just the ticket booth here that manifest it can be sacrificed and another cocoon that puts us at five reanimation spells that's that's pretty decent Seventeen lands, goat, faithful, percussionist. I don't know that we'll need Norn except for bouncing Toby, really. So Norn might get cut. That's okay. You're okay. You're okay. You discard. All the twos are needed. Toby's good. Rip chain's gone. 
probably one of merge gone. I don't need all of that. The addict is three. The booths are three. The glassworks are three. Reanimation, reanimation. You're a decent reanimation target. No ripper. Well, we might get rid of Bestie and the Midnight Mayhem. And what else? The Glimmer Light? It's probably the lowest impact card that we have. Yeah, yeah. It's a little, little awkward. It feels okay. Actually, you know what? It might be better to get rid of Ticket Booth and put in Toby. That might be a better play. Discard for Delirium. We can discard with the goat. We've got reanimation, reanimation, reanimations. Yeah, again, it's not great, but it, it'll play. I believe I got you back on the follow already. I haven't haven't seen any kind of like message anything come through. Oh wait, there it is. I see it. Huh? They got something. We don't get to do it till turn three, really, but. We do have a play. I'm gonna get really tired of seeing this deck though. This deck just seems to be what everybody has agreed is the best deck and you should be forcing is just this Azorius scavenger into Gremlin Tamer and to drop as many enchantments as you can. That's unfortunate. We got removal for it, and we're not going to be able to do it.
Yep, there it goes. It's out of our reach. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Instant enchantment. We can get sorcery and a land in there next turn and activate stick twister. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I was hoping you would tap some more of your mana. Do you have a counter spell in hand? You've got something. You've got something. Man, I really want to play the Shattered Yard and kill their thing, but I don't think I can. There's a counter spell. <laughs> There's a counter spell. All right, well. Desperate over there, huh, opponent? Get desperate. Oh man, if there's a counter spell here. You had two? Ah, oh. All right, that's fine. I have three emerge from the cocoons. Do we get the face down card or we get the, the creature that reduced the cost? I'm gonna get the one I don't. Damn. That is a cool little combo. <laughs> I like that. Fear of burning alive deals that amount of damage to target creature or player. So if I give this thing death touch, even the little 1-1 one -one pingers become lethal. That's pretty cool. works pinging the fear of burning alive is just gonna be too much all right 
right, well, we got our first game down. opponent you, you were so aggressive just a few turns ago what happened don't don't rope me out come on two four five and three Yes, that's what I wanted. <laughs> All right, we got there. We got there. <laughs> uh, don't know what you were holding that made you think you still had a chance, but that was... Uh, a shot, I guess. You tried. Um, I mean, that's not really what we want to see in the opening hand, is it? Not really. That's silly, why would you do that? Well, that sucks. Eat it up. <laughs> I still can't play shit. This is ridiculous. Opponent, play the guy that makes me discard a card. <laughs> Please? You know which one I'm talking about. Play that 2-2 two, two for 4. You discard, I discard. Oh. 
No, that's not the one. Alright, stop eating my graveyard. Come on, don't don't overthink it. Discard two cards. <laughs> Valgavoth. It's Val Gavoth. What are you gonna do about that opponent? I'm curious to see. Oh no, not two cards. Whatever will I do? No way. I can't even believe that just happened. Really, I'm gonna lose to a Mihook Massacre. Yeah, I'm gonna lose to a Mihook Massacre. There's nothing I can do about it. Or is there? With the instant speed, Valgavoth. Ha <laughs> 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 
How many times do you have to kill Valgavoth, opponent? <laughs> I just won't die. <laughs> oh man, this is this is way silly. My Valgavoth exiles it so it can't come back from the graveyard with a finality counter on it. Why would you do that? And tap all my white sources like that. Okay, we're not out. <laughs> Valgavoth, he does it again. I will say I was impressed that the opponent killed Valgavoth twice. That was crazy. That was crazy. And had I not had the life to pay every time for Valgavoth to, to not give it to him? Oh man. Going down to one and reanimating Valgavoth was sick. Alright, so this is... We're going to discard Valgavoth with Grab the Prize and try to emerge him from the cocoon. Like, that's that's the game plan right there. Wild. What a wild ride. Um, I mean, we're getting there. I need, what, one more mana? And a few turns? Fine, I was gonna sacrifice it myself anyway. All right, next turn we can disturbing mirth and grab the prize and hopefully find a land and be ready with a merge. the land and delirium Booga booga. Here he comes.
<laughs> you can quit now or you can quit in three turns, opponent. It's up to you. If you also meet Hook Massacre me. Kill my stick twister. Woo! Yeah, and now Valgavoth's uh, ward does not matter. Yeah, good for you, opponent. Good for you. I want to hit the shattered yard button and see what they do. Alright. Well, Valgavoth isn't going to have a ward for the rest of the game, but I can reanimate him again. I could have done it this turn. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't mean to actually play that. Oops. Yeah, I wanted you to kill the goat, not the faithful. Oh, that's fine, you would have murdered Valgavoth. That's alright, fear of burning alive in the shattered yard is going to clean up the game. We'll be fine. finally have green mana. I'm sorry, opponent. You did a really good job dealing with Valgavoth. They've had to put way too much of their resources into dealing with Valgavoth. Yeah, good game. Wow. 
wild, what a wild game this is. <laughs> All right, I want to turn five Algavoth again. That was so good. It's not the best, but if we can draw a red mana, we'll be in a good spot. Oh, that don't end. Actually, play your 3 1. next turn to draw. Fine. Fine. You do the thing. Uh, we'll play this. And we'll kill your creature. Pretty good. Uh, this is even better. Just need a land now. Knack, huh? I was gonna say, how do you plan to flip him up? You're a three color deck, I see. I see. Oh, you don't want to play against my Valgavoth? Not after you killed my Altanak. That was my best creature. Alright, well, goodbye. Hey, we're positive. Well, this, is, this deck is already gonna gain us rank. Let's let's just not lose with it though. How cool would that be? Ashley, are you still in the chat? I wasn't going to make Valgavoth the focus of the deck, but I didn't get the rest of the sacrifice stuff, so... <laughs> I mean, he's here. I don't know that this is good, though, especially going first. I think I'm going to mulligan. We're going to put the Stomper on the bottom. I 
don't like that thing. That thing eats my graveyard. How about I gain two life instead? That's a pretty good card. It is worth definitely killing. It's not looking good this game. have to discard it. Or I still have to draw three more lands to be able to cast them. It's a shame I couldn't just like discard this off the mulligan, but I guess reanimator ducks would just be broken that way, wouldn't they? Oh no, I mulliganed twice. I have to discard a card. Get, yep. Two, two, twos. Seems pretty good. I would like a card. Please and thank you. So my ability to tap is going to be very limited, but if we can get that far, we stand a chance. So I do think I need to sacrifice the extra Shattered Yard that's not doing anything. Uh, that was not really what we wanted, was it? But if we can get the loner to tap and survive. No, it's not happening. Got it.
You're saying there's a chance. Would have been nice to go looking for some stuff. bit of life back get a card draw I'm, I'm kind of desperate right now <laughs> that's no good Oh, that's awful. My luck, I'm going to discard and draw Valgavoth. That's one, two, that'll be three reanimation spells down. I mean, that's what happens when your reanimation targets don't show up. It's my dual land next. Give me that black white land. No, it is another land though. We held on for so long. Yeah. You know, we've been having pretty good luck with the Valgavatha deck so far. We are four and one. And we had one game where we reanimated him three times against somebody who Meat Hook, Meat Hook massacred Valgavoth. The deck is silly. Like, it, it doesn't look like much, but with the reanimation spells and Valgavoth, like, as long as we can get him into the graveyard, we're good. And I even have an extra reanimation spell that I'm not playing. Like, deck is silly. He's shown up before. I, I am Valgavoth faithful at this point. <laughs> I don't even remember what kind of deck I was drafting, but he showed up and I was like, oh, guess I'm all of a sudden going to be a reanimator deck and reanimate Valgavoth. I think I was trying to do a Boros something and it wasn't coming together, so we... we Pivoted into red black sacrifice Valgavoth reanimation, and here we are, four and one. <laughs> had I drawn Valgavoth, I would have even had the mana to cast him, which is the crazy part. Yes, mill me. Don't 
Don't worry about him. I'm gonna kill him. Alright, I guess I'm gonna kill that instead. Never mind. Okay, this is this has been the play. So if we can get the cynical loner to tap and survive next turn, she'll go put Valgavoth in the yard for me, and then we can reanimate Valgavoth on turn five. Just leave the loner alone. No, stop looking at it. Don't don't worry about that. It's just a three one. It does nothing else. Leave my goth girl alone. Thank you. Oh, he did it for us! <laughs> Val, <come on. laughs> oh. Okay. done enough damage with that that's fine all right people have had very interesting ways of being able to deal with Valgavoth in their deck I've got four more reanimation spells for him I'm not worried about it See, planes for a goat. Okay, go or go. That's fine. <laughs> that's that's not fine. Come on, Arena, don't do it like this. Give me my reanimation spells. We've got a merge, we've got liver die, we also have Valgavox Faithful. All of which bring back Valgavox.
Boo. What is this? Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty closely tied, opponent. This is a close game. That's so lame. <laughs> I know he's got to attack with the death touch creature though. They have removal. Uh, instant speed when they attacked. They had three things to sacrifice. The unable to scream on my board counts as theirs still. Okay, I go to one. Damn, so I should have got the Shroud Stomper first. Um, this is a 5 4. We can kill that with Fear of Burning Alive. Oh, we just win! Never mind! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here just trying to live. Alright then. This is kind of gross, actually. I do have to do it in order though, because it needs to sacrifice something else. But if we can draw another red, I could double Mirth on turn four, which could be fun. And I really don't want a Glassworks that cheerleader. I'm, g I'm gonna wait. Grab the prize is really good because we can discard. Yeah, that is worth hitting with the shattered glass. Or the glasswork shattered yard. Yeah, use your terramorphic. There's the red I was looking for, that's funny. <laughs> so 
surgical suite. Yeah, bring it back. That's fine. Pretty good. I think I'm gonna grab the prize here. We're gonna discard the stomper. We would, we would. Hey, another grab the prize. All right, we did it. We got Valgavoth. Fear of burning alive, but I'm one mana short of casting it. Unfortunate. I think we just pass here. Uh, live or die, Shroud Stomper. A, a cocoon. Oh. Yeah, that looks like a really good next turn. Unfortunate. It's alright. We got life gain, we got Valgavoth, we still have fear of burning alive coming through. And we learned since the Stick Twister deals 2 damage, it triggers with Fear of Burning Alive. That was so good. Yeah, well, that's usually what happens. They don't have a way to kill Valgavoth, they just quit. I can't blame them. But this is the second Valgavoth reanimator deck in a row that has gotten us to the final boss. This one has two attempts at the final boss, though, so we, we got a chance here of just trophying, which I would love. I would love to be Platinum Rank 1 again. We were almost Diamond. We were so close. Wish we had a planes for the goat, but loner and the glassworks and the throwing Valgavoth in the yard is probably gonna be enough. Come on. Cheerleader, that's fine. Swing the goat. Swing it. Damn it.
Yes! Alright, well, now we just need white mana. <laughs> Two lands, one of them white. I'm not scared of your clown. Alright. That is uh, getting us even closer. Yeah, I would like to put a Shroud Stomper into the yard as well. Yeah. Alright, well, turn five Algavoth. Friendly ghost, that's fine. Get in with that vicious clown while you can. Man, cynical loner. Doesn't look like much, but it is... So good for the reanimation deck. Trapped in the screen. That's fine. You have to sacrifice literally everything else. I'm not 100% sure I have a way to deal with enchantments. Sorcery creature. Land. So I just need an artifact or an enchantment in there now. got four damage to him next turn yeah that's game we win oh I, never mind I can't cast it Midnight Mayhem. We weren't supposed to gain life. End of the turn, thank you. Shoot another gremlin.
Now when I ping for one death touch, I kill your creature. Because he's death touch. Ah, oh, that's so gross. That is gross. Make him death touch, ping for one, kill any of your creatures. Oh, good game, opponent. We did it. We did it. Valgavoth, Mardu Reanimator. Seven and one. What a trophy. What a trophy. This deck was nuts. There were a couple of games we should not have won that we won because of Algavoth. But there it is, trophy. <laughs> what a goofy looking deck. But it got there with three reanimation targets, five reanimation spells. What do we we had the goat, the loner, and the two grab the prizes as our way to discard and get things into the yard, and that was about it. Like this was <laughs> this was a wild ride. This was fun. <laughs> I don't even think we needed the Toby in there. <laughs> All right, well, it gives me some uh, gold back. I think we got time for one more. So what was that? That was a zero and three with a five color room deck that did nothing. And then Valgavoth just ran us back for the trophy. Man, Reanimator is so fun in this set. Grievous Wounds this is not pack one pickable. What is pickable here? I mean, Vagavas Faithful. We could go and just be faithful again and hope. I, I doubt it's going to happen two drafts in a row. So, like, Glassworks or Break Down the Door, I think, are probably our best bets here. Everything else just looks middling and mediocre. The ethereal armor could be really good if we could get that deck, but I would rather just have a solid removal spell. Probably the uncommon, huh? Should take the green, pass on the glassworks. Yeah, we're gonna be base green. Of course, if I would have gone Glassworks, Slayer, Monkey, Unwilling Vessel, Unable to Scream is good, Riding Torment is great. I don't know that we just want to say its name. That's not really where we want to be looking. I do like the vessel. I think I'm going to take the unwilling vessel here. I don't know, like all of these cards are pretty good though. I'd be happy with any of them. The mind skinner has just been coming around so much lately like I'm supposed to be playing it. We see it two to three times a draft. I mean, here it's probably unable to scream, if not the Mind Skinner. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna take the Mind Skinner. Another unwilling vessel. 
<laughs> we might not play the break down the door. That's funny. Uh, here we want centipede. That, that'll help fix our manas. All right. I mean, I'm not upset by it. We got good cards. I'm a little sad I've had to pass unable to scream so much, but yeah, honestly, might have been better to have the glassworks here because this is a really good setup for the rooms if this was glassworks. Interesting. Man, who's holding up the table? There we go. I mean, Centipede's probably the best one here. It's another Emerge from the Cocoon though. Could have grabbed Vagavas Faithful and two emerge from the coon already. It's alright, I don't think any reanimator deck is gonna be the same without Shroud Stomper or Valgavoth in it anymore, like. And it is getting passed around though. Holy crap. Enchantments and doors. Um, we're not really in manifesting. Dog, honestly, I, I like the dog better than I like the the manifest equipment. The only manifest equipment that's really good is the uh, dissection tools. The conductive machete is fine if you are actually manifesting. Right now we are not. We are mana fixing and maybe enchantments. Um Honestly, it's got it's the snapper here. I mean, I wouldn't mind manifesting the mind skinner and swinging in with it. That would be pretty cool. Nothing we want here. Uncommon, get the gems back. Wow, um, we might actually play the attack in the box here. Although if we do end up going the the manifest route, having the chandelier is usually an okay idea. You don't need to get crazy with it. Usually one is enough. 
Hey, a dog. I like dogs. Anthropede. <laughs> Algava Slayer. Hey, an Altanac. I think I am going to take the Altanac. I could take the layer here too and have it for just the mana fixing, but I think Altanac is the play. Oh, second Altanac, you're so kind. Oh, look, there's mono green. Set his name. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna grab a baseball bat. Although, Rip Spawn Hunter could be pretty fun here, too. But we have an emerge. I don't really like the green-white survival deck, but if I can do it as just like a green aggro deck that maybe reanimates Altanac, that could be fun. That could be okay. There's always one. It just has to hold all the packs. All right, draft table, come on. Entryway is okay. But I think I'm just going to take the rare here and set complete. I have the fourth one of that and I don't have to look at it anymore. There's the land I want. Okay. Yeah, you're fine, I guess. Although we need to get some earlier plays here. Just green stompy splash white. Oh man, 
Alright, another another beastie is okay. That is not, I think we're gonna take a jump scare. Rip wield. Alright. Another jump scare. I mean, it kind of puts us in the right the right spot. So we'll see if we can make it happen. I would definitely like to remain more base green than white. Oh, and Surgical Sweet. That's such a good card. Fungus is okay. It's not better than the Sweet, though. Yeah, I'll take the Surgical Sweet. I'm a little sad I didn't get as many emerge from the cocoons in pack one as I could have. Threats around every corner, although we're not really doing a lot of manifesting. We don't really need to do a whole lot of mana fixing. Maybe it's just better to take the dog here, huh? Take the dog. Another storyteller. Really, I'm only going to get the one say its name? Um, exercise, removal, a second baseball bat. Is that too many? Nah, I will try two. We'll look at two. I don't know that I'll play two, but we'll look at it. Uh, Rotunda, I guess, is the best card for us here. We're just gonna be old school, just play some cheap things, and then hopefully you can't remove my beaters. Especially once I give them a baseball bat. That's an emerge, thank you. You for the life gain. <laughs> Turn one goat, not too bad. I think I might take a glimmer light here for an equipment piece. Yeah, Teddy is fine. You'll make the deck. Two plus two and trample. We might play that. Definitely some cuts to be made here. to be aggressive with the surgical suite. That's fine. Hunter is okay. Anthropede, honestly, we probably don't need you. Probably need one jump scare. Exercise is fine. Emergent should be good. We might not actually play the glimmer light. 
I'm glad I grabbed it though. Yeah, grand entryway is not going to make our cut. Fear is not going to make our cut. We still need to cut four. How are we doing on creatures? 17. Okay. So we probably don't need Teddy or the attack in the box. Or ethereal armor. What's my last cut here? Is that really an emerge? I don't like that. Alright, well, there's the deck. This is what we're playing. Playable. All right, aggro. for one, that's fine. And now you're gonna make them both two twos. for a greater not toughness well that's unfortunate okay I would like to stop drawing lands please I feel like we have enough of them I shouldn't have gotten rid of Altenac, huh? I could be casting him.
We did get two Altanax. We can draw another one. Jesus. Draw nothing but lands. That's that's how I lose the most right now in these drafts. Is I keep a keepable, serviceable, actual playable hand, and then literally draw nothing but lands the entire game, while my opponent just continues to put stuff to the board. Or if we got to play magic, I feel like I would win. But I don't get to play magic. I draw lands and keep the four cards that... Stop giving me lands! Seriously. No more. That is three lands in a row, Arena. That uh, might as well be a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, cool. All right. Opponent was mana screwed. They have the opposite problem. They didn't have enough lands. Doggo. If you have the jump scare, do it. Violet or that's fine. That is fine. Uh, the dog bites you out of the air. one way for me to get to be able to cast Altanak, huh?
You went wide and I went tall. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Yep, nothing I can do about it. Maybe I should have held the doggo back. Just swung with the big boy. I notice I get the weird mid rangey deck and I get paired against aggro, but I play the friggin' reanimator deck and aggro doesn't exist to me. That other hand was fine. I didn't mean to click mulligan. I was trying to turn out the light and it pulled it up to show it was my turn. That was, that was really cool. Really cool. something on your turn so that I don't feel bad about the mana being open That's the fourth color you have played. I cannot tell what deck you are. What are you splashing? You're a little bit of everything. Trapped in the screen. What are we trapping? This one. I'll we'll swing for five. And depending on the next couple of turns, if I want to, I can get that back. Again, I just might uh, exile their smoky lounge. They think they're gonna be doing door stuff.
Depending on your creatures, I've got lethal. Another trapped in the screen, huh? Well, opponent, what are we doing? Making four, four, okay. I do want that, because that'll get me three for the spell, two for the ward, two to reanimate something, so that's, yeah, we do want that land. Alright, Fear of Infinity. Exile their fear of infinity. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, gain your two life. Fear of falling. Perfect. All right, we need one more win, Duck. Give me one more win before one more loss. Put me back in plat one. And we can end today on a good day.
if there was a single green mana in here, this would be so good. Just say its name, Spine Seeker. I asked for another win, and it says no way. And it says no. I'm not allowed to win any more. Land? Nope, it's not a land. Get rid of it. We can do this. We got a chance. That's fine. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> yes, tap the goat. The goat is the problem. I'm just gonna throw him in the yard, honestly. Yeah, that sucks, but I think that's what we do. Tried to steal my spawn hunter. I don't think so. I don't think so. That's fine, get in while you can. Wow, 
Why, Dak? Why? Yeah, alright, you got me. You got me. A lot of flying. I have nothing. Man, we started with such a bad hand and did so good keeping up. Oh well. Oh well. That is the three drafts that we normally do. I do think I'm gonna call it. I've got two Valgavoth videos to edit and post now, so a little bit of work to be done. Uh, we can open up our extra packs though, see how close we get to being done with the uh, set completion here. All right, all right, hey, is that a, that's a mythic, right? Yeah. Good. Just eight more rares, 20 more mythics. Kind of curious as to what they are now. Duskmorn. Me a hook, a couple of the overlords. It's high bar for sure. Yep, overlord stuff. Nico, Kaito. Really, there's a land hanging out still. Ghost vacuum, tools. All right, there's there's some cards to be pulled. The only ones that uh, I'm really kind of sad I'm missing right now are the overlords. Everything else, I'm kind of okay with the amount of them that I have, especially considering most of these are mythic that I'm missing. Alright, well that's good information. Not a whole lot left to collect. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. We will catch you guys. I was going to say tomorrow, but I don't think I'm supposed to stream tomorrow. I got work tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I'll we'll catch you probably Sunday for Bellatro if we can make that happen. Thanks for hanging out. You guys take it easy.